Hey there fellow zombie hunters, Jaxel here. Welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 14. Uh, as you can see, I have finished all... I'll take you on a little tour here. I have finished everything. I've got 12 forges up and running. Uh, I've got my cement mixers back. I've got my two workbenches put over here. Uh, I've got a small cooking area set up over here. Just figure I'd start it off. And uh, actually the... Two of the things that I do need to create here are uh, I need four cooking pots because uh, I lost a bunch when I went to move stuff. Uh, I need six cooking grills. So I'll have those ready to go. And that's that done. These are all filled with stone and clay, or they were. Whoa, turn them off. Turn off. They've been running for about a day in the game. Uh, it's taken me about about a day to uh, to get everything done the way I want it. We'll just turn them all off. We don't need to be wasting materials. Um, I will make uh, an anvil in here. Let's take those out and. Then we can turn this one off. And we can turn that one off. There we go. I will fire those all back up uh, once I get stuff to fill them up with again. Uh, I've got all my storage done. Everything's all nice and neat now. Um, except for the one building one is a bit wonky. Um, I have one empty one here in the middle. That's going to be for I don't know what yet. There's my concrete mix. This is the wonky one. It's got a bit of odds and sods in it. Same with this one. I haven't organized it fully yet. Uh, there's where my tools are going. Uh, I haven't put my door in yet, but I will eventually here once I get up and finish everything off here. Uh, I've got all my, my engines and uh, batteries, stuff for bike parts, uh, all my clothes. And uh, these are going to be for extra random tools like chainsaws and auger bits. And I've sorted out my ammunition. When I tore down my last forges, I made all my buckshot and all my, all my uh, bullet tips that I could. Just to get the lead out, I figured it's easier than taking the lead out and putting it back in just to make them anyway. Uh, sorted up all the explosive stuff and all the extra ammo bits. And then I did all my guns. These I haven't organized yet, but that's uh, that'll happen when it happens. Um, there's the guns that I do have. And then this is the parts. So, so far that's how everything's set up. Um, I tried to light this area up as best as I can. I did some reading about where zombies spawn. And they tend to spawn where it's dark. So, I'm going to probably refigure... Uh, the, the lighting system out here. I don't quite necessarily like it. Um, the flooring. I changed the floor. I went with sod and stone. Because it all blends together nicely. And I don't have this uh, this little div division between the blocks. I only have it on the edge of this. Which I actually don't mind. That I don't... I didn't like it when it was all over the place. It made for wonky walking. Uh, so that's done. Uh, I've pared my inventory down. Let's get the cooking pots and stuff in here. Well, we can. And then I'm probably going to drop um, uh, a bit of wood in these to get them ready to go for when I actually have time to do some actual cooking. And so I've got six fire pits. I don't know that I'm going to need more than six. Six for now is probably a, a decent number. Any more than that, and I think it's just going to be... Uh, unless I start doing... Uh, start finding oil shale, then I will probably set it up with a few more of these. Uh, I don't know, maybe on the sides. So that I can just do straight oil production on those ones. Save, the, save these ones for food and water. Uh, so yeah, there we go. These are set up as this is set up as best as i can configure uh figure it works it's got a flow to it before i was having to run around too much between forges 
and having to look up and trying to figure out which box was which. And at least this way I know. All building supplies. And then all stuff for my character. So separated into two little piles. And it might be overkill for storage space. But you know what? I think I'm going to work with it. So we'll make sure all the guns are loaded up here. And yeah, loaded and loaded. Okay, we've, and I've just finished eating and everything else. I've had a whole bunch of screamer hordes come through. Um, so well, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, my, my spotlights, I actually tucked them in in uh, cubby holes here to, to light up, but I found that they don't really light up the outside area. They light up my base quite nicely up top here, um, but they don't light up like in behind there. I need to get torches or something in behind because there's too much darkness back there. Um, and then uh, I still haven't done finishing work up in here. I want to tear all this out and get this to iron bars as well. But I needed the forges running so I could have the iron bars. Uh, as you can see here, you can kind of see like, you know, there's a there's not a lot of light coming out this way. So I'm when I, I figure what I'm going to do is when I get my towers put in, uh, I'll look at putting uh, light sources in the towers maybe. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but uh, I may do something temporary with torches for now just to light up the perimeter. Um, but everything else here is, uh, is all finished off. I got the final touches to everything here. Like I said, though, it's a little too dark in these areas, so I'm... Like, the lights aren't quite working how I thought they would. So, I'm going to have to figure something else out. Um, it is what it is, though. Like, what can you do? Uh, trying to figure out how things work is part of the name of the game. So, I do not have a lighting issue down here. That's for sure. Um, now, let me just remember. I think I put the torches... Oh, let's grab... Actually, let's... Grab the forged steel. I'm going to save 60 of them for myself for later. And now let's find these friggin' torches. I know I put... Oh, you know what? I think they're over here. Maha. Not that one. Not that one. That one. So uh, what my plan here is, is I think I should probably... Actually, I'll switch that around. I need to get some torches in the, the back corners. On this side up in here because this is way too dark so we'll put one in the corner and then I don't know one there oh and one there and one there let's see what kind of shadows we're getting if I take that off how, how shadowy is it yeah not liking that so much so let's put another one and another one and another one. Yeah, and I guess I'm putting one right there and there. Really don't care about placement right now. I can go back and fix the placements later. Figure out. I think it's every every four four blocks in between uh, gives the best lighting. So there's no shadows. And that's kind of what I'm going for is no shadows. So... I don't really, I don't want to have zombies popping up where I don't want them. So I know this isn't exact, but like I said, I will figure out better placements later. That shouldn't have hampered me coming up the stairwell there or the ladder. And a couple more. And that should be that should be plenty. Let's see what we got looks for 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 lighting. Oh, I missed a big spot here. There we go. Yeah, you know, I think as far as lighting goes, uh, this will be good enough for now. <laughs> oh, I missed another big spot right there too. Jesus. Okay. Uh, now let's move the nail gun down here. And let's finish off these. 
seeing how it's the one of the few things that's still not quite done here. And I'm probably going to have to, I'm going to need to plant my garden as well. Oh, that one needs to be repaired. Wish I had brought some concrete with me. I'll go down and get that in a minute. There we go. And it shouldn't take too, too long. Okay, so... Take a boot, come on. They don't usually hit these top ones, but obviously they did on that one block. So let's, uh, oh, I missed this whole side. Well, you know what? Let's go down and get the concrete mix because I need that anyway to finish fixing the ones that are a little bit broken. And that's in this one here. Nope, that's in that one there. So let's take 1,200. There we go. And we'll hit this one up right now. Because we're right here looking at it. There we go. And, oh, that one's... Let's see. Oh, this is that section that I just put in not too long ago. That was where the wall was that I had mistakenly put in. So now, this is fully upgraded. There we go. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Now those, I probably don't have the scrap with me to repair them, which is fine. Um, I'll go down and get it right now. And let's see, scrap is in this one. So let's, let's we'll take uh, 2,000 scrap. And, wow, I have quite a bit of the, uh, the steel left. How much uh, concrete do I have? Whoa. Uh, you know what? I'm going to grab a little bit more while I'm down here, now that I think about it. And at least then I'll have it. I'll grab uh, another 2,000. And I will grab uh, 2,800 wood. And I don't need any clay or stone for that matter. Um, yeah, we'll grab the little extra bits. We'll grab... Yeah, that should be plenty. Okay. So now that this is done, I'm really happy with this. Like, when I ride my mini bike out of these tunnels, I'm not going to get hung up on anything anymore. I'll be able to just ride it right in. If I want to get turned back around, well, shit, this is wide enough to drive through. So uh, the only thing I haven't done is put my sleeping bag down, which I do need to do uh, probably sooner than later. I think I'm probably just going to lay it right on the path here. Um, let me just uh, actually, let's quickly, uh, I think it's in this bottom one here. No, this one. Yeah. Let's us quickly make ourselves a bedroll while we can while we're thinking on it and right in front of the doorway perfect let's let's drop that bedroll I want it to be fairly close to the uh, to the center here because it's, it's seven blocks out that nothing can spawn. So hopefully, uh, with all the lighted areas, my walls and everything else, nothing should spawn in my base. But you know what? I've had them spawn right on top of my base before. So it's not like it's not going to happen. So. so let's finish this little bit of upgrading we were going to do here. I'm going to worry about getting uh, getting the doors in uh, later, not worrying about that right now. We'll go around and get this all to reinforce concrete. I want this, at least this area here in reinforced concrete. The one side off, I don't think I need it. 
Oh, that one needed to be repaired. Okay. I'm just trying to be careful that I don't accidentally uh, upgrade it to steel right off the bat because I'm trying to avoid that. I don't really need it upgrading to steel just yet. I'd rather get underneath the pillars done in steel first. It may end up being that I kind of bunk out and kind of do it wrong anyway, but... Okay, um, I'm going to do this from the top. Oh, not from there. This is the only part about it that is kind of worrisome. Doesn't quite line up the way I want it to. For getting off of that ladder for this level. But this level isn't going to be used as much, so... I'm not sure if it's going to be that big of a deal or not. Like this area here, I'm probably not going to steal. I can be perfectly honest. I don't think I need to. And like these ones here, I don't really need to, to, to repair them. There's only 20 points taken off. So I don't think repairing them is... You know, if they get really cracked up, then yeah, then I will. But right now, not that necessary. Nothing's really hitting these anyway. The odd spider gets up here. But once they fall down in my little my little pit, the ring of spikes takes care of pretty much everything. So I'm not too, too worried about them. Oh, like these ones here? Yeah, they've been, they've taken a hit. Because they upgrade by 200 points each time. So doing 20 points makes no sense to me. Oh, like that one there? Didn't need to do it. Nope. Nope. This one, see, like that? Hell yeah. And one more. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. And I believe this is all from when... Uh, earlier on the base build when I didn't have... Um, oops. When I didn't have the full ring of spikes all the way around when I had them able to get up to the bars here and touch them. I think that's from when this damage occurred. I don't think this has happened since then. Uh, since they've been able to fall in the pit, I think... I think this that was all damaging uh, that occurred then before the pit was dug. So I'm not too, too worried about them. I do want to do just for aesthetics... Uh, I do want to make sure that these these are the same. I don't care if the top piece is reinforced because I don't honestly think it needs to be. If it turns out that they're they're they, you know the cop spits damaging it and actually hurting it, uh, then I will. But honestly, they won't be coming in here. They won't be making their way to these bars. That they won't be near it at all. So, do I want to waste the time and the materials to upgrade them? Probably not. Probably not worth it. Okay. Glad I didn't double-click that one. I was gonna. There we go. Yeah, this, see, these are... I, honestly, I believe these were from when they could actually touch them. Wow, that one was pretty shit kicked. Eh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I may go around once I have excess on the on the concrete. I may go around and hit these all all up and and finish them off. Same with the extra steel. If I have the extra steel, I might just say screw it and upgrade them all the way to steel. But right now, it's not necessary. I know I need to make some more spotlights, which I'm probably going to do in a minute here. So that way I know I've got them. Just about done. About halfway now. 
takes a little bit longer when I'm doing it this way because I'm trying not to over upgrade. Like I don't, I, I should have just dropped my steel off. I will be uh, putting uh, some storage lockers up here on each level just so that I have the ability just to drop stuff and when I'm working. So I don't have to, oh shit, I got to go back downstairs and go drop stuff off. That doesn't make sense to me. I should actually just make those right now. Let's let's just go and we'll craft. I'll craft four. Four should be plenty. All right. This video is uh, just more of an update. You know, a little bit of building, a little bit of an update. Let you guys see what I'm doing. How, it's, how things have progressed. I think things have progressed beautifully. Um, I'm not too worried about how any of this is coming together now. I don't worry about any zombies getting in. Like I've had probably five Screamer Hordes come while I was doing all this work. And I only went and dealt with two of them because I heard the cops. Other than that, they're, they're nothing to really worry about. This is pretty damn secure. I can work in here at will and not have any problems the frames in this section though i'm noticing um for whatever reason my frames drop pretty drastically in my base so i don't like that i think it has a lot to do with how many light sources i've got going on with all the torches and shit so i don't know i have to look into that later not doing it right now okay so i have 900 concrete on me left okay that's good i didn't use it all up that's uh, i can work with that um and i still have lots of steel so let's uh let's quickly do these up now i know for sure that they won't be uh they won't be destroying this portion of the wall if they're stuck in there and they're beating around. If they happen to blow out a lower block, there's not much I can do about that anyway. So it'll happen every now and then. But I haven't had it happen yet. I've more or less had things uh, become destroyed. Um, this is spikes. That's what gets destroyed. It's not the, the blocks underneath so much. And as long as I'm smart when I'm repairing, well... Eventually, all this will be upgraded to steel anyway, and I won't have to worry about having a bunch of different materials on me to fix it. And those ceilings there are also, I believe they're double thick too. To double check that, I can't remember. I do believe they are. Yes, they are, because I put flagstone. Even though it's only flagstone. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, that burned through that, that forged steel pretty damn quick. But we've got a double double layer of of flooring above my head here where the where those uh, spike pits are. So I'm not too worried. If the zombies happen to break through one of those bricks, I'll see it before they just drop in. So there we go. We've done a bit of the upgrades. I've done an update, showed you guys where we're at. Uh, there's still more work to be done, obviously. Like, like I said, I need to get some doors and a hatch done up on the top. Uh, but I haven't figured out the top portion completely yet. I want to do the iron bars and the ring around the top before I figure out how I'm finishing the center bit. Um, it may be that I uh, cap it and put a roof on it and... You know, do something up here. Because this, this has to be... I want this to go up a little higher. So, you know, maybe it slopes down in. It's the same height as the outer wall. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to happen. But uh, that's for, for more videos for later. Once this centerpiece is finished, uh, I will be digging to get the uh, uh, the towers put in on the corners. Uh, I've been thinking I might do tower on the corner and I may do uh, tower in the center too. I don't know. Maybe that I do uh, um, eight towers around the outer edge and everything will be connected with 
with iron bars in between so I can run all the run out from the tower, drop down in, go underneath, come back out. It'll be basically everything will have a pathway out. Kind of been the plan. So anyhow, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. If you're new, please do. Uh, I'd love to have more of you to watch what I'm doing and to comment and give me suggestions. Um, and uh, I thank you all for watching. And I look forward to doing the next episode. And we'll see you all then. So peace out and happy hunting.